In this video, I'm going to show you how to install View Component and get started using it with Rails. So we're going to pop over to our terminal here and install it. So we can type bundle add view underscore component to install it. And that's it installed. Um, the app I've set up is using Tailwind CSS and is uh, an example blog post app and we're going to show you how to click edit post have a popover come in to edit that blog post so um, we've got a popover in Tailwind UI here and this is what we want to turn into a view component with a section for the header the content and the footer and for that we're going to make use of slots in view component so there is one other thing we need to do to get the install uh, working, which is in our tailwind. We need to say, um, we also want to support app components, html.erb and app components.rb for class names for tailwind. So we can hit save there. And then we can open up our terminal and generate our first component here so we can say reels generate component and we can call it popover so with that we get two files so the popover component rb and the popover component html so if we go ahead into our code here and we have our show view um, this basically is the styles for our blog post uh, but we want to go to uh, our edit view for that because this is where we're going to make our popover and the first thing we're going to do here is uh, tell it to use a turbo frame so we're going to say turbo frame tag popover and this is basically going to allow us to load our content um, on top of our blog post rather than going to a completely new route so turbo um, I have a turbo hotwire modals tutorial which is really good at demonstrating this in more detail and I will link to it in the, the description um, we're gonna take this turbo frame tag, which is in our edit view, and we can just type the word edit, hit save, and we'll go to our application layout. And down at the bottom, we'll just go in here and add turbo frame tag for popover that's empty. So if we hit save on this, then go to our show page where we have our edit link. So we have an edit post link. And what we can do here is say data Turbo data turbo frame uh, popover, and now if we go back to this post, refresh the page, click our edit post, you'll see down at the bottom we get this edit loading in, which is exactly what we want. Um, it's loading on the same page rather than taking us away. So now what we need to do is make this styled like our popover so in our tailwind ui we can go up here and hit copy on this html and that will give us all of this tailwind styled code so go back and go into the edit view and inside this turbo frame tag popover we can paste in this code and hit save and now when we reload this page and hit edit post you can see we get this popover, which is awesome. Um, however, all of this HTML code is in our edit view. And if we want to reuse this in other places, we're gonna be duplicating all of this code and all of these styles um, throughout our application, which is definitely not what we want. So instead, what we want to do is take all of this code and cut that and then we go to our popover component and we'll paste it in here and hit save and then make our edit view load that so if we come back and say render 
and how view component works is you take this class name so pop over component and call dot new and that's it so now I go back here let's make sure it all still works and now if we reload you can see that still works so what we want to do now is have the ability to pass in a title um, a subtitle the content for our edit post form and then a footer where we can control buttons and things like that so how we do that is in our popover component the first thing we can do is create an initializer so we can say initialize and we can say title and we'll not give a default value for that so it's it's required so if we take title and we set an instance variable for title what I also like to do is create an adder reader in here for title which means in the popover component view um, we don't have to reference it as an instance variable we can reference it without the at symbol so um, let's find this title wherever it is So it's called new project in here and we can then say give whatever title that we pass in. So we go back to our edit view. Now we can pass in here and say title is edit post. And now if we reload this and click edit you can see our title gets passed into the component. Next up, we want to have a subtitle and let's say, actually let's just get rid of subtitle for now. So let's just delete this. Then let's go and see how slots work. So this is how you can make more advanced components where you can have multiple parts to the component. And I think this is really powerful and a great reason why you wanna use view component instead of just using uh, reels partials. So what we wanna take here is this renders one and we can say uh, back in here, we can go in and say, whoops renders one footer I'm gonna hit save and I think there's always a default slot for content so if we come down and find wherever this content is um, I think it's just here so we'll delete all the content from this model And then we'll just say like content. Come back and reload. So we can see contents in the right place. And what we actually want to do here is add a little bit of padding first. So we'll say like padding six. And then we want to say content. And as far as I believe this is just the default slot and is built into view component. So if you aren't using slots, you'll still just use content here. And basically if you pass a block to a uh, view component. So if we go to the edit view and we say do and end. And then we say some content here. you'll see our content gets passed in. Now, what we actually want to do here is use, to use slots, you do like labeled things. So um, we would say c.content and then pass on another block. And this is how you use multiple slots. So um, let's say content in a slot and reload, hit edit post and now we've broken it. So I think maybe we do have to call our slot. Um, what's wrong? Yeah, so if if we go back to pop over and say it renders one and say content, hit save, 
I know I tried this again. Edit post, still not working. Um, what have I done? C.content do and maybe we can't use content if we're using slots. Um, let's just call it body and we'll say body in here as well. And now it seems to be working, but it's not printing out our body. So let's see what's going wrong. Do we need to do an equals here? Yep, so um, excuse me leading you down the wrong path there, but um, when using slots then we'll have to use a different name than content. If you're not using slots, content just works by default. So because we want multiple items in our component, we're gonna to need to call it something different. So body, and um, we've got footer here as well. So um, the next thing that we want to do is just take this and say footer, and then let's go to popover component and let's see the footer. So we've got a footer here with two buttons. If we cut those buttons out and instead place in footer, then go back to our edit view and paste those buttons in. And just neaten up the indentation there. Now when we reload, we've got our two buttons, but they are coming through um, in several places. What's going wrong here? Oh, so we're using content. We need to change this over to body and reload, hit edit post. So we can see content in a slot here and then we've got our footer content here. So this is what we want. And we go back to edit and change this to like save post. And now reload, you can see we've got save post. So. That in essence is how you use view component with Rails. Um, that, there's a little bit of hot wire stuff in there too of how you can get it to load in that screen. And if you want to see how to save that content without reloading the page, go and check out my hot wire models video, which will be listed down below. And if you like this content, want to see more, please subscribe and thank you.